Can you define synthetic biology? To me, synthetic biology uh, differs from biotechnology that it uses rational in engineering and rational design. And this, I think, is the main, uh, the main difference with a classical biotechnology. How does synthetic biology impact society? Well, so far, uh, we have not seen yet the impact in, in society of synthetic biology, at least in what they will call synthetic biology, that is the engineering. Uh, and biotechnology, of course, has already impact society, for example, making insulin or other uh, drugs that we are commonly using. What has been the biggest struggle you have had working on synthetic biology? Well, in the, uh, we go again to the to the rational design. No? You try to engineer a circuit, you put it in the bacteria, and then, of course, it doesn't behave as expected. And then you need to do a lot of trial uh, and uh, exp experiments to, to get the result you are uh, expecting. Through the years, how did your opinion on synthetic biology change? Did you accomplish something that you thought would never be possible? I think my opinion on synthetic biology has not changed. I still like the, the rational part and the engineering, but on the other hand, I have become more realistic and I realize that synthetic biology is now a mixture of uh, clever thinking, sound engineering, and a lot of trial and error. What is the biggest risk associated to synthetic biology? To me, it's not terrorist or misuse of the technology. It's more that the public really gets scared about synthetic biology and we face the same problem as we are facing now with GMOs. Which is the best way, in your opinion, to educate the new generation synthetic biology? I think we need to explain to, explain to society that we have done what I would call non uh, design of non-thought synthetic biology for millennia. No? The plants and animals we are eating today are not the result of, of select of, of nature, are the result of carefully crossing of related species and selected by mankind. And uh, otherwise we will not be able to survive nowadays. Uh, how far is future is a future where synthetic biology applications are part of everyday life? I think in, in terms of, of microbiology and the production of, of some uh, drugs like artemising or, or some product like insulin, etc., we are seeing the, already the, the impact in society nowadays. But to see it in everyday life, I still think that we need to go a long way before this happens. What would you say to convince a student to under, undertake studies in synthetic biology? Well, I think in synthetic biology, imagination is the limit. So if you really want to do something new, something unexpected, really be clever and, and, and come with new ideas, I think synthetic biology is for you. What are the qualities that distinguish, distinguish a synthetic biology from other scientists? That you are entering into the unknown by engineering and doing things that are not uh, present in nature. And what distinguishes synthetic biology from other disciplines? As I say, in theory, it should be the engineering aspect, or as I say, in the majority of the projects, engineering is only a minor thing and trial and error is the largest part.